Narcissists can also be sentimental when their romantic partners break up with them. The truth is that they will never get over their ex until they find another lover. They view their partners as the source of their narcissistic supply. When their partners decide to separate them, they can hardly survive because they are the source of their strength and hedonistic needs. As a result, they will set a myriad of defense mechanisms to deal with their pain and loss. I am going to show you 10 things all narcissists steal that their ex-partners once have. Number 1. Real Estate Property If marriage as marriage is involved, narcissists will insist that they should be the ones to keep the house and lot and let their partners leave the premises. They will ensure to gain control of the principal asset of their marriage, their home. They do this to leave their partners without a choice. It is their way of convincing their partners to stay with them, especially if they do not have any place to stay yet. If you have a narcissistic spouse and you want a divorce as soon as possible, seek legal advice about the mechanics of home ownership to ensure you get what you deserve. If you have spent more money on building the house, you must invoke your rights to home ownership. Do not allow your narcissistic spouse to enjoy the fruits of what you have planted out of sweat and tears. Number 2. Business Ownership It is common for couples, especially married ones, to become business partners since trust is already there between them. However, when these couple break up, they will have challenges with the ownership and continuity of their business. Narcissists will do everything to gain control of their business when their romantic and business partners end their relationship. Since narcissists are over entitled to their rights, they want to be the ones who will keep the running business instead of their partners. Narcissists will not give their ex-partners a share of their profits as they are selfish and greedy for money. Avoid signing business contracts with narcissists because they will never keep their promises. Number 3. Personal Social Media Accounts it is common for some couples, especially married ones, to share the passwords of their social media accounts. Some make this obligatory if trust issues are involved in their relationship. Narcissists are among those people who require their partners to give them access to their social media accounts. Even when they break up, narcissists still keep their ex-partner's accounts. And even if their ex change their passwords, they will still hire a professional hacker so that they can still have access to their private accounts. It only shows how intrusive narcissists are even after a breakup. Number 4. Parental Custody Narcissists try to keep their parental custody after their spouses file a divorce. They do this not because they want to become responsible parents, but to let their ex-partners suffer about missing their children. It is the narcissist's way of convincing their spouses to cancel their divorce. Narcissists want to win parental custody to force their ex-partners to stay with them under the same roof just to be with their children. During court hearings, they will make up stories about how irresponsible their spouses are as parents. Narcissists do this to convince the judge to take their side with the ultimate goal of winning parental custody. Number 5. Joint Savings Account Narcissists save money for their future to buy their dream house or car and establish a business. It is common for couples who have been together for some years to have a joint savings account. However, when they break up, they will have to break their joint savings account too. Unfairly, Narcissists will keep the money for themselves. They will not allow their ex-partners to have their share. It is the narcissist's way of punishing their partners for leaving them hanging in their relationship. It is also their way of forcing them to stay to have their share of their joint savings. Number 6. Photo Album Narcissists love to keep old photographs of them together with their ex-partners. They keep fantasizing about their good old memories through their photo album. It is also one of the reasons why narcissists can hardly get over their ex because they keep looking back. Deep within them, they want to blame themselves for losing the love of their life. However, since their inflated egos overshadow their guilt, narcissists will never admit that they have contributed to the failure of their relationship. 
They will keep staring at their old photos, convincing themselves that their love life would not fail had not their ex-partners messed up. Narcissists are good at playing the victim's role while portraying their ex as the villains in their relationship. Number 7. Clothes Narcissists keep their ex-partners' clothes such as sweatshirts or jackets to remember their scent. They hug these clothes to sleep and imagine their ex-partners still sleeping in the same bed with them. With that, they convince themselves that their partners are still around them through their used and worn clothes. It only shows how obsessive narcissists are with their ex because they keep longing for them, even when they go to sleep. It may be their defense mechanism against the pain of losing their loved one. For other people with effective coping mechanisms for heartbreaks, keeping their ex-partner's old clothes is unnecessary because it will only slow their healing process. Since narcissists are delusional, they imagine their ex-partners coming back to them. Because of their obsession, they may stalk their ex virtually or physically to know their whereabouts and the new people in their lives. Narcissists may seem heartless, but they can get emotional too. However, they try their best to conceal their pain because they do not want others to see that they are getting affected by a breakup. Number 8. Engagement or Wedding Ring Narcissists keep their engagement or wedding ring by wearing it even if they are no longer together with their fiancés or spouses. It is one of those things that will take them back to the love of their life. Narcissists choose not to dispose of it because it makes them remember the forever love they are supposed to have. Narcissists also do not want their colleagues to know that their relationship or marriage failed. Thus, narcissists keep wearing their engagement or wedding ring to save face, protect their inflated egos, and fantasize about their ex-partners. Number 9. Legal Documents Narcissists keep pertinent documents such as marriage certificates even if their partners file a divorce. They do this to remind themselves that they have once been married to the one they had loved before. Even when their marriage fails, they still hold on to that legal document. They hope that one day their spouses will come back and fulfill their vows. Narcissists will never get over their spouses because they deniably know in themselves that they have some lapses that contributed to the failure of their marriage. However, due to their inflated egos, they will never kneel in front of their partners to stay with them. Instead, they will wait for them to come back. Number 10. Bank Statements Narcissists are usually dominant when it comes to financial management within their relationship. They want to take control of their partner's hard-earned money, explaining that they are only managing it, not using it for personal gain. Since narcissists have a joint saving account with their ex-partners and decided to keep it for themselves, they also take custody of the bank statements. They do this to keep track of the balance in their bank account. In addition, narcissists also want to check the amounts paid into and withdrawn from it from time to time ensuring that they are the ones who processed all bank transactions. Do you have a narcissistic ex-partner? If so, do they still keep the stuff you once had, even after years of being separated from them? Knowing that they still hold on to those sentimental things, how do you feel about it? If you have a time machine, would you go back to the time when you were still with your narcissistic ex-partner to fix your relationship? Or would you choose to leave the past behind and enjoy your healing and peace of mind? Did you find this video interesting? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Watch this next video right here.